Chapter 7, Absolute Values and Reciprocal Functions. We're going to start with Section 7.1, and this is quite a nice, easy section. Okay, absolute value represents the distance from zero on a number line, regardless of the direction. So the absolute value of 4 is 4 because it's 4 units away from zero. Similarly, the absolute value of negative 4 is 4 because it's 4 units away. Okay, vertical bars around a number or expression represent its absolute value. Think of it like a distance, okay? Um, so the absolute value of 24, the absolute value of 3 minus 12. And the way to look at absolute value is similar to brackets. You must first do 3 minus 12, which is negative 9, and then evaluate the absolute value. Not, this is what you don't do. You don't, don't go the absolute value of 3 minus 12 is equal to the absolute value of 3. And then the absolute value of 12 is 12. So it's not like 3 plus 12 giving you 15. Don't do that. Okay? You have to take the, uh, treat it like brackets is the best way to do. Um, it's always zero or positive. The absolute value of a positive number is positive. The absolute value of a negative number is positive. And if you get zero, the absolute value of zero is zero. Okay, so to evaluate, the absolute value of 25 is 25. The absolute value of negative 8 is simply 8, because it's 8 units away. Okay, next up it says write out the following real numbers in order from least to greatest. So what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate each of these in terms of their decimal uh, equivalent. So the absolute value of negative 10.1 is just 10.1. That's how far it is from zero. The absolute value of negative 21 over 2, I'm going to grab out my calculator, I'm going to say find out what 21 divided by 2 is. That's 10.5, so it's negative 10.5. The absolute value of negative 10.5 is 10.5. Okay, 9.8, no absolute value, so it's going to be remain negative 9.8. The absolute value of 10 is 10. Negative 10 doesn't say any absolute value. That's going to stay as negative 10. The absolute value of negative 9.9 .9 is 9.9. .9. Here comes another one. 9 and 7 eighths. Whoops. 9 and 7 eighths. There's my calculator. Well, 7 eighths is 0.875. So it's negative 9.78. Where did my go there? Negative 9.78. 875, I think it was, but the absolute value of that is going to be 9.875. Okay, and negative 9 remains negative 9. Now, what it asks us to do is go the least to the greatest. So, my least is going to be my negative numbers. In particular, I'm going to start with negative 10. Okay, after that, negative 9.8 is going to come next. Then this guy, negative 9. And now I'm starting into my positives. So my smallest positive number is right here. So it's going to be the absolute value of 9 and 7 eighths. So I'm just writing what I saw here. Okay? That one's done. And then it's going to be this one, the absolute value of 9 point, negative 9.9. .9. It's done. Okay? And then I would go in this order and continue on. Okay? Last, this is just some order of operations. The absolute value of 5 minus 6. Remember, treat it like a bracket. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is simply 1. Over here, the absolute value of 2 is 2. And then we're going to subtract the absolute value of 3 times negative 4, which is 12. So 2 minus the absolute value of 12 is 12. So 2 minus 12 is negative 10. Now notice we got a negative answer. Before I said absolute values always give you positive. They might always give you positive. But when you have the difference of two positive numbers, you can get a negative. That's okay. Okay, last but not least, this one is absolute values. And we're going to look at um, order of operations, bed math. Brackets. So is there anything in these brackets that we can simplify? No. Next comes exponents. Okay, so we're going to go 5, negative 2 squared is 4, plus 7 <coughs> times negative 3 minus 15. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 minus 15. 
Okay, I have 20 minus 21 is negative 1. Minus 15 would be negative 16. The absolute value of negative 16 is 16. Okay, so that's all you have to do for this section.